Okay, guys, I'm back. So, part two. Um, so, oh, let me turn off this light. It's very bright. So, it is um, May 25th, 2023. And we're on part two. I claim that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He's also God. He came to earth as a man in the flesh. He bled on the cross, was born of a virgin, and he died for our sins. And we are saved by faith and his grace. And he rose on the third day. Okay, ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people because they're trying to scam you. Here's part two of May 25th, 2023. Zephaniah 1.6. Those who have turned back from following the Lord and have not sought the Lord nor inquired of him. Mark 4, 7. And some seed fell among thorns and the thorns grew up and choked it and it yielded no crop. Deuteronomy 1.11. May the Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times more numerous than you are and bless you as he has promised you. Exodus 14, 3. For Pharaoh will say of the children of Israel, they are bewildered by the land. The wilderness has closed them in. Ezekiel 7, 9. My eye will not spare, nor will I have pity. I will repay you according to your ways and your abominations will be in your midst. Then you shall know that I am the Lord who strikes. Whew, don't make Jesus mad. Exodus 2.11 Now it came to pass in those days when Moses was grown that he went out to his brethren and looked at their burdens and he saw an Egyptian beating a Hebrew, one of his brethren. Let me just remind you guys, like literally he gives me all these words and scriptures, okay, in my head and I'm not even in front of my Bible. So you tell me how that makes sense. Okay, um, here's, the, here's the message. Sorry, he's kind of renewed my strength. There's been a lot of... Whew, there's been a lot, but you know what? Jesus always gives me that supernatural peace and strength. And he told me, he said, when all of this started, he said, literally when I was upset in my chair because everybody was talking about me, um, the scripture on the Jesus clock went off and it said, um, I will make you suffer for a while, but then I will build you up and strengthen you. <laughs> so he's so awesome. I love Jesus so much. Okay. Um, and guys, I feel like it's so soon. We literally just got done the ending of the ark warning. Like literally, he said in a previous message, will you swim, sink, or drown? Guys, he was telling us to get on the boat. And then the wedding invitations went out. That was what 22nd was all about. But, you know, see, he made me think it was the rapture because it was part of his plan. You know, so obviously we believed, we embarrassed ourselves on live. You know, I saw a video someone made about that. <laughs> it was actually kind of funny. <laughs> we were all looking around and we were like, okay, we're about to be raptured <laughs> any second now. <laughs> it was so embarrassing, but it was, it was actually kind of funny, uh, how, whoever they did it, because the way they staged it and everything. Anyway, let me get back to the message. You are saved by your faith and my grace. Please believe in me. My door is about to close. When the trumpet sounds, the door shuts. There's still time and the door is still open. If you confess I am Lord with your mouth and believe I died for you. Repent, change your mind and believe in me. Guys, if you look up repentance, it's actually a change of mind. I will wash away your sins. There's no condemnation in Christ Jesus. Have you laid down your idols for me? Have you picked up the cross and followed me? Have you given me your whole heart? I see everyone's heart. I know everyone's thoughts before they even speak a word. Ecclesiastes 3.2 Set your mind on things above, not on things on earth. Philippians 1.7 Just as it is right for me to thank this of you all, because I have you in my heart, inasmuch as both in my chains and in the defense and confirmation, of the gospel, you are all partakers with me of grace. First Thessalonians 2 9. For you remember, brethren, our labor and toil for laboring night and day, that we might not be a burden to any of you. We preach to you the gospel of God. John 2 9. When the master of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine and did not know where it came from, but the servants who had drawn the water knew the master of the feast called the bridegroom. John 7 5. For even his brothers did not believe in him. First John 1 John 1.4 And these things we write to you that your joy may be full. See, when you're under Jesus, you have so much peace, guys, because you're literally not condemned under Jesus Christ. 
And it's not a license to sin. When you love Jesus, you're going to want to follow his commands. You're going to obey his commands because you love him. And you'll be convicted by the Holy Spirit and you'll be led by the Holy Spirit. And we all fall short from his glory, but you're not actually trying to work to get to heaven. You're literally just childlike faith, believing in Jesus. So I'll tell you something that's really cool today. Um, sorry, I'm kind of like hyper. I had a energy drink. <laughs> um, anyway, so what was really cool um, was today, you know, the Lord was giving me the dates and stuff um, to post the certain prophecies he gave me like months ago. Well, it was funny. I had just posted March 11th on YouTube in the forum. And um, <laughs> Cassie from Faith Over Fear 44 just sent me a text and said, Look at this crescent moon. It's big. It's 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 um a blood crescent moon. Look at it. It was unscheduled. And she sent me the picture and I was like, "Cassie, you're not going to believe this, but literally the March 11th message talked about the moon and I had just posted it." So guys, that's how God's working. He's literally working with so many believers and so many people. If you would just take everything to Jesus, you wouldn't you wouldn't be going after Christians. Guys, you cannot just go on someone's page and call them a false prophet and just be rude and nasty because that's Satan. Satan comes as the accuser, not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is gentle and kind and loving always, you know, so you always have to look at people's fruits, guys. Um, and like I said, Jesus has renewed my strength. He's, he's awesome. And if you don't know him, guys... Jesus is funny. He's hilarious. He has such an awesome personality. Um, when you truly have a relationship with the Lord, you're, you're going to hear from him. He's, he's going to talk to you. And I don't mean like an actual voice. I mean, sometimes he'll give me a voice like when I'm sleeping and he wakes me up. Um, but Or like a whisper. But it's mainly, it's mainly thoughts. Holy Spirit thoughts. Convicted by it. So... You're missing out if you don't know Jesus because he truly is awesome. And you're saved. You just got to believe, guys. You just believe in him and give him your heart and he's going to do the rest. Like he said, he, he removes the heart of stone and gives you a heart of flesh. He renews your mind. It's just believing in him, you know. That's all I can say. <laughs> okay, well, um... You guys have a blessed day, and um, come Lord Jesus, come. I'm excited. I feel like it could be like literally any second. It's so cool. Okay, God bless. Hey, I'm back. When I was reading part two, I forgot two scriptures. Jude 1, 8 through 9. Likewise, also these dreamers defile the flesh, reject authority, and speak evil of dignitaries. Yet Michael the archangel in contending with the devil when he disputed about the body of Moses, dared not bring against him a reviling accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke you. Joel 1 3. Tell your children about it. Let your children tell their children and their children another generation. Okay, that was it. Have a blessed day.